Good morning, Primer 6. How are you? Welcome back. Today we are going to take Unit 11, Tigers. Okay, lesson 1 and 2. We are going to have more information about the tigers and we are going to read first, then we will take the words. First part, okay? Tigers, all about tigers, okay? Tigers are endangered creatures. Endangered means they are going to extinct if we don't prevent this, okay? So they are endangered, they are in the danger of extinction, okay? They are alive, but they don't extinct, extinct, but they are going to extinct, okay? So tigers are endangered creatures. For many years, they have been hunted for their beautiful fur. We know that they have very beautiful fur and the hunters like to hunt them. So th that's why they are endangered, okay? We must protect these animals so that their numbers can increase. We ought to learn more about them and we should make sure that they are not allowed to die out. Die out means to extinct, okay? Die out is a phrasal verb, means extinct. Looking at tigers. A tiger is a fierce, strong cat that hunts in forests and jungles. Hunts in forests and jungles, which means they go to search for their food in forests and jungles, okay? Tigers are the biggest cats in the world. They are from the same uh, species of the cats, but they are the biggest ones. So they are called the cats because they are from cats. <laughs> okay? They are cats, but big cats. A tiger is a fierce, strong cat that hunts in forests and jungles. Tigers are, are the biggest cats in the world. A male tiger may be longer than a car and weighs more than two adult men. A tiger's uh, tail is over 0.6 meters long. These are information about, uh, about the tigers. The female tigers are smaller than the males. Look at the pictures. We, here we have a male and a female. The male is bigger than the male, okay? Their heads are bigger. Female tigers are smaller than the males. A female tiger is called a tigress. So a tiger is a male and the tigress is a female. Apart from their size, male and the female tigers look the same. They are the same. They are not different like uh, lions, okay? The female, uh, the lioness, yani the lioness, the female lion, is different in the look, in the in the appearance than the male uh, lion, okay? But the tigers are the same. They uh, they are best, uh, they are different in uh, size, okay? Again, I will read again. Female female tigers are smaller than the males. A female tiger is called a tigress. Apart from their size, male and female tigers look the same. They both have orange fur with thick black stripes. Stripes are the lines on their body. Okay? Tigers are the only big cats that are striped all over. Striped all over, yani they have stripes all over their body. Okay? Some tigers are born without any orange in their fur. These white tigers are very rare, but some of them are kept in zoos, okay? They are found in forests and jungles, but some of them, of the white tigers, are found in, in, zoo, in zoos. Where tigers live? Tigers can live in cold, snowy mountains and forests, as well as hot jungles, grass, grasslands, and swamps. Swamps are the the dirty water, okay? Area of dirty water, it's called the swamps. Nowadays, most tigers live in India and the other parts of Southeast Asia. Tigers are not very common anywhere in the world. They are not very common anywhere. They are not living in large numbers, okay? They don't have large numbers of tigers, okay? Here, the beautiful long stripes on the tiger's coat match the patterns of the trees, bushes, and the grasses. This helps 
This helps it to creep close to the animals it hunts without being uh, seen. Tigers live on their own for most of the time, uh, which means they, they search for the, their own food most of the time. A tiger doesn't make a home, but each one lives in its own special area. This is called a territory. It's a territory and it has to be large enough to give the tiger food, water and shelter. So the special area where someone lives or when the animal, where an animal lives, it's called a territory. Territory, which means its own area. No one can approach it. Or, or take it okay so each tiger has its own territory uh, which uh, is provided uh, which is uh, the place for food sleep and shelter and water a tiger marks its territory with scent scent means smell scent means smell the sea is silent okay scent is a smell of something scent droppings and scrape marks Scrape marks, the marks they leave on the ground, okay? The marks of the tiger. They, they leave marks with their uh, clothes, okay? It also roars from time to time. We know that the lions are roaring and tigers as well, they are roaring. A tiger's roar can be heard up to 3.2 kilometers away. These smells Marks and sounds usually tell other tigers, I live here, keep out. Okay, so each tiger in its territory, uh, they leave scent, they leave droppings, droppings, yani the remains of food, and they leave uh, scrape marks. So they all the time roar, so the roaring, the smell, the, the scent, the smell, yani, and the, uh, and the <coughs> marks. They tell other tigers that this is my territory, don't come here. Hunting for food. Tigers usually hunt at night. They spend a lot of time searching for food. A tiger's favorite food is deer and wild pigs, but it, uh, it will eat any animals it can catch, from monkeys and peacocks to buffalo and goats. A tiger has many weapons to help it to catch its food. It has long pointed front teeth, sharp curved claws and powerful shoulders. But a tiger has to work hard for its meals. It can't run as fast as many of the animals it hunts, so it has to get quite close to them before it pounces. Pounces means to jump above the animal they are hunting. Okay, pounce means to jump over the animal. Do you understand? These are nice information about the tigers. I hope you are interested. Okay, now let's read the words. Number one, swamps. Look at the picture here. This is a swamp, kind of swamp. Swamp is an area of dirty water. Okay, an area of dirty water. Tigers like to live in swamps. So swamps are areas of covered uh, areas of land covered with dirty water. Swamps means areas of land covered with dirty water. Areas of land covered with dirty water. Territory, territory means the place that belongs to some animals or persons. Territory means uh, area or place that belongs to some animals or persons. Okay. Endangered means in danger of extinction. Okay, endangered means in danger of extinction. Yeah, they are going to extinct, but they are alive, still alive. The difference between endangered and extinct, extinct means they are they died out, we can't find them again. Okay, in, uh, but endangered means they are in the danger of extinction, yeah, in their, on their way to extinct, okay? But they are alive. So endangered means in danger, in danger of extinction. Rare, rare is an adjective which means existed in few number. Rare, okay? Protect, to keep safe. Protect means to keep safe. Number six, 
die out die out man means to extinct or disappear like dinosaurs dinosaurs extinct millions of years ago which means they died out millions of years ago they are not living now okay so die out means to extinct or disappear it's a verb pounds to jump quickly or to jump over an animal okay to jump over jump quickly or jump over it's a verb pounds pounds we knew that the tigers are not fast but they must be near their prey to pounce over it to catch it okay uh stripes stripes means long narrow lines on something long narrow na lines on something like the stripes on the uh, lines uh, oh, sorry on the tiger's body okay they have stripes all over their body stripes okay pay attention to the word stripes s t r i p e s stripes so stripes long narrow lines over something or on something okay Fierce means wild. Fierce means a wild. Tigress is a female tiger. Tigress is a female tiger. Memory, victory, factory, glory. They are all the phonics of our unit. The words that end with O-R-Y and they are not pronounced uh, like the words end with A-R-Y or E-R-Y. Okay? They are different, okay? So, to so make a differentiation between the words that end with E R Y or O R Y and A R Y. But here we are going to take the words with O R Y, like territory, territory, victory, factory, memory, glory, okay? Memory means something you keep in your mind, like a memory of a place you visit. A memory in your childhood memory something you keep in your mind or something you have in your mind in the past okay something from the past you keep in your mind so a memory something you keep in your mind something you keep in your mind F uh, victory means to success in wars on or in competition okay to success in a competition or in wars like the victory of the victory of 6th six, six of October war okay the victory means to success in wars or in a competition or in a race okay factory a place where we can produce things chocolate factory uh, chocolate uh, a factory which makes it chocolate uh, toys factory uh, a factory which makes toys Okay, or produces toys. So the factory is a place where we produce things. Glory, the praise or honor or fame which someone gets. Listen well to me in this word, the glory. The glory is something that happens after you win something, okay? When your favorite team wins a match, you you feel the glory of this uh, victory or you feel the glory of this winning okay like um, like the glory and uh, the owner you feel honored okay you are happy with this fact, uh, victory it's called the glory the glory is the owner or the praise or fame which someone gets someone gets Number 15, cub, as I told you before, cub was C-U-B, uh, soft B. Cub means is a baby animal, okay? Baby tiger or baby lion, it's called a cub. Baby uh, tiger or baby lion, it's called a, a cub, okay? Like Simba, in order to understand. The last word is creep. Creep, creep means to move on, uh, to move on slowly and to move on slowly and carefully to move on slowly and carefully like the thief the thief creeps in order not to make someone awake okay do you understand i hope you understand the words i will repeat them repeat after me swamps swamps territory territory endangered endangered Rare, rare, protect, protect.
protect, die out, die out, pounds, pounds, stripes, stripes, fears, fears, tigress, tigress, memory, memory, victory, victory, factory, factory, glory, glory, cub, cub, creep, creep. Now I will uh, I put for you some sentences words in sentences to make them easier. Sentences to make the words easier. Tigers live in swamps. What are swamps? Area with uh, filled with dirty water or area covered with dirty water. Okay, this farm is my territory. It belongs to me. This farm is my territory. It belongs to me. So the area that belongs to an animal or to someone, it's called territory. Territory. The tiger has black stripes all over its body. The tiger has black stripes all over its body. I have a good memory of my childhood. I have a good memory of my childhood. So the memory is something you keep in your mind from the past. The glory of the 6th of October wars victory will last all over the years. The glory, the glory, the owner, the owner, okay? Of the six, happiness after you win something. Okay, this is called the glory. The glory of the six of October wars victory will last all over the years. So we win in in six of October war. Okay, so we are celebrating the glory every year. You understand? Now, let's take our grammar today. Helping verbs. Okay, helping verbs. They are a group of verbs that help us forming sentences, negative forming questions, and so on. Another, uh, another usage for the helping verbs, they can't stand alone in the sentence except verb to be, which means I am using do or does or did as helping verbs because our verb can't make its own asking or negative by itself okay verb to be am is are was and where verb to do do does and did verb to have have has had okay we are using them as helping verbs in the sentences because the verb in the sentence can't do itself can't do the question and negative by itself okay except except verb to be verb to be can do its uh, negative and the question by itself okay and i must have verb to be in the sentence and on in order to use them as helping verbs okay i must have am or is or are or was or were in the sentence in order to make them helping verbs okay but if i don't have them in the sentence i don't bring them as helping verbs okay do does and did I bring do, does, and did as helping verbs if I have only one verb in the sentence. As verb infinitive, I will give you an example. I go to school every week. I will. I have go only in the sentence. So I am going to bring the helping verb do or don't. She goes to school every week. She goes. Goes is alone. So I am going to bring the helping verb does. And I will return the go to the infinitive case, does or doesn't, of course. Okay. They went to school last week. They went to school last week. Went is a lonely verb. So I will bring did or didn't and I will return the went into go. It's an infinitive case. Okay. Have, has, and had, we bring them in the perfect tenses. We don't bring them, they are found in the sentence okay so have has and had they are used as helping verbs in the perfect tenses i have present and the past perfect tenses okay so have has had they are used as helping verbs in the perfect tenses only but in past simple and the present simple we bring do does and did am is are was where they must exist in the sentence in order to use them as helping verbs do you understand okay 
Let's answer these exercises. Toddlers, adults or children are grown up people. Toddlers, toddlers are um, the toddlers are the baby children and yeah, the children that they are learning to walk. The children who are learning to walk. Okay? So toddlers or adults or children are gro grown up people. Adults, of course. For many years, tigers have been endangered, protected, hunted for their beautiful fur. They are hunted for their beautiful fur. Lions are fierce animals. Tame and pet, they are the same. Okay, tame, yani that I can tame them in order to keep them at, at home. But the, we can't tame all the lions. We, as normal people, we can't, all of us can't tame lions. Special people who can tame lions. But don't, we don't do this. This, sorry. So, lions are fierce animals. And space tiger is called tigress. A female tiger is called tigress. Dinosaurs died out millions of years ago. Die out. Die out. Means extinct. Tigers live in forests. Tigers have black stripes on their bodies. Can you see the difference between stripes and the strips? Okay. It's called the stripes with ES. Okay. Bushes, jungles, forests are small trees. Bushes are small trees. I like roses because of their good scent. Scent, S-C-E-N-T, scent. The smell, which means smell. A tiger can roar. A tiger can roar. See you, inshallah, in the second part of the unit. Thanks.